good Tuesday morning. How happy I am to share another sunrise with Pastor Hayton here. Just a few minutes here to talk about some ability. Now, I know we all have some ability. We may have ability in different areas. I was admired a friend's painting the other day. I walked into her home and had a beautiful painting on the wall and had her name signed on it and that's the first I knew that she had artistic ability and so I admired a few paintings around the house. I mentioned I wish I had the ability to paint a picture. Well, I don't have. And uh, she looked and said, yes, maybe you don't have the ability to paint a picture, but you've got other abilities. And I thought for a minute and thought, well, I sure hope I have some sort of ability to do something. And I believe God uh, enables us, each one, according to our ability to do something in life. And we compare ourselves to others, we might get a little bit distraught, thinking, well, I sure don't have the abilities that they have, but God never intended for us to go around comparing ourselves with others and comparing our ability with other people's ability. God wants us to just do what we can with what we have, and uh, what we cannot do, well, he'll take care of that. But I'm thinking about the ability. I could talk about maybe some perceived abilities that I have, but I do believe that I have tried to make it a point down across the years of my life for my greatest ability to be dependability. And that's why I notice there are so many people in the world that you really can't depend upon. They may give you their word, but you can't depend upon their word. They tell you they're going to be there, but you don't know whether they will or not. They tell you they're going to do something, but you really don't know if they'll get, ever get around to getting it done. They may tell you they'll be in church, but you don't know whether they're really dependable enough to be in church every Sunday. They just don't seem to have dependability. And I do believe that one of the greatest abilities that anyone can have, and an ability that will take us a long way in life, regardless of any other uh, lack of ability that we might have, is that of dependability. And I would encourage you to be dependable today if you tell somebody you're going to do something, do it. If you tell somebody you're going to be somewhere at a certain time, be there at a certain time. If you're going to be counted as one that is uh, a valuable, then you've got to learn to be dependable. I'm sure any employer will tell you that the best employee is the one that he can depend upon. And I always felt back when I worked what few secular jobs I have, that the boss hired me because he needed me. And so I tried to be dependable. I tried to be there for all possible there on the job. And I believe that every employer appreciates someone that he can depend upon. And I believe that that's what God is looking for today more than any other ability is dependability. And if you'll be dependable and put yourself at God's disposal, God will use you in a remarkable way. Yes, you may not have the same ability that your neighbor or your friends have, but if you have dependability, it will serve you well, and I guarantee you, you'll make a mark in the world if you just, uh, if you just uh, carry out that trait of dependability. So I want God to be able to depend upon me. I want my church to depend upon me. I want my friends to depend upon me. I want my family to know that I am dependable. They can count on me to do what I say I'll do and be where I say I'll be to the very best of my ability. So be dependable. God wants dependable people. That's the greatest ability I believe that one can have, dependability. Lord, give us people that we can really depend upon. Lord God is looking for people that can be depended upon to do his bidding. Pray that thou give us people, Lord, that will be dependable, that will just uh, exercise the greatest ability that one can exercise. Now go with us throughout another day of life. Reach out to those that are hurting today. Save our unsaved lost uh, loved ones and uh, help us to be a blessing, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Go out and be dependable.